when you're talking about an organic, we're totally talking about nutrient management, keeping your microbial activity alive, and then having the carbon or bio reserves in that soil so that those microbes can regenerate and regenerate and keep going. We've got a study going on in Phoenix right now on Bermuda grass where for the past six years, we've done organic inputs. Organic inputs, organic inputs. It got mowed with a mulching mower, so we're mulching that back in, and it got organic inputs for a full six years, and then just standard irrigation, okay? In the past two years, the only thing they stopped was the organic inputs. For two years now, that turf plot has been mowed, mulched, mulch mode, and irrigated. And that turf plot still looks phenomenal, okay? I gave it six months. Ah, yeah, six months, you'll need, you'll need more nutrients. What's going on now is that the microbial activity is taking that mulch mowing and starting that whole regeneration process. So what happens with organics versus synthetics is as time goes on, your soil gets better and better and it starts working for you. So now you have to have less inputs and less inputs. Organic benefits, um, obviously it provides energy for the microbial buildup. We've talked about that. It increases the organic content to enhance the soil structure water and nutrient retention. As the soil gets better, it holds more water and nutrients. As that soil profile holds more water and nutrients, it's not just running off across the curb because we can't get any water in it. It's not just straight leaching all the way through. It's holding that water. Now the soil is acting as your reservoir and you've got a much, much longer cycle in between your irrigations, okay, and less water, you saved it, okay? Less nutrient input, saving money. That water holding, that reservoir, healthy plants use less water. Healthy soils hold more water for those plants. Carbon-based products, as you get that carbon and that organic in the soil profile working, it doesn't want to leach out. It won't leach out because the soil is now working for you and it stays there. Adds energy, rich diet to tired soils. So as you're putting carbon-based products in there, now those um, collapsed soils are getting, a, getting um, a little reserve to come back. They're getting stronger. Builds up that microbe, stabilizes the root zone. We'll talk about why that happens here in a minute. It improves the nutrient and water retention in that soil and promotes rooting and lateral growth. Now that we have air space, now that we have water space, now that we have pore space built into that soil, now your roots can go deeper. Deep, infrequent watering, healthier plants, better root structure. And we're going to talk about how to build some root structure.